Good morning, children. Hope you are all doing good. Shall we begin our online audio video lesson now? I am Shalija from Shet Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Today's subject: English grammar, Class Sixth, Lesson One. Topic: Kinds of sentences. Let's get started. What is a sentence? Before we proceed to the kinds of sentences, the definition. A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense and a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark see the examples here you won the prize my sister is in first grade these are the examples of a sentence now we will be seeing the kinds of sentences or the types there are four types of sentences assertive or declarative further it can be affirmative or negative and assertive sentences always end with a full stop next one interrogative sentence this is where you ask a question you ask a question and it ends with a question mark exclamatory mark expresses a sudden feeling or a strong feeling always ends with a exclamatory mark last one imperative sentence makes a request gives a command or an instruction ends always with a full stop examples assertive sentence can be affirmative or positive or negative the negative sentences have the words like no never not none nothing etc for example it was a long journey affirmative or positive it was not a long journey negative sentence let's see the imperative sentence an imperative sentence makes a request or gives a command or an instruction it always ends with a full stop for example close the door at once let the children go for a picnic next interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence asks a question it always ends with a question mark for example who helped you with your homework are you happy now some sentences begin with helper verbs like is are does has etc some with wh words who what when where which why whose whom and how next exclamatory sentences an exclamatory sentence expresses some sudden or strong feeling it always ends with an exclamation mark for example what a great performance so wonderful so the subject and the verb either occur at the end of a sentence or completely left out in the sentences in the exclamatory sentences do as directed let's see here rewrite the sentences of assertive as exclamatory yona min was intelligent and beautiful so you have to change this assertive or which is a sentence which declare something to exclamatory sentence okay see here how intelligent and beautiful yona min was next he was a noble person what a noble person he was this is the exclamatory sentence same way you can see the next one rewrite the sentences of exclamatory as assertive so what is the uh, exclamatory sentence which shows sudden or strong feelings so how intelligent and beautiful yona min was exclamatory sentence you have to rewrite as assertive yona min was intelligent and beautiful that's it so easy see the next one what a noble person he was that is a exclamatory one that is an exclamatory sentence now you will say as assertive you can change it to assertive that is he was a noble person that's it so easy it is see the next one rewrite the sentences of assertive as imperative imperative means you are giving some command 
isn't it some command sentence that is called as imperative sentences so imperative sentences which makes a request or a give a command or some instruction or an instruction it can be affirmative or negative and always it will end with full stop okay let's see you must not forget to visit the palace that is a assertive now you will say as imperative don't forget to visit the palace next one you must use different colors to highlight if you say it is an instruction or a command then you will say use different colors to highlight rewrite the sentences of imperative as assertive now you see the first one don't forget to visit the palace imperative now you will change it to assertive as assertive so you must not forget to visit the palace next one use different colors to highlight you must use different colors to highlight next one rewrite the sentences of interrogative as assertive Interro interrogative means you are asking a question okay asking a question into a statement or declarative sentence or declare something so first one how could one ask for the bones of a living man one could not ask for the bones of a living man assertive what does that matter that is an interrogative so you'll say as assertive that does not matter exercises write what kind of sentence each of the following is in your notebook children first what are you doing very strange and look stay away from the fence in bengal rangoli is known as alpana he could not sit could not stand ouch ouch my finger it hurts i can't write to the school today what are the kalidas next revise the topic and complete the exercises in the textbook so until our next session children take care thank you